Alright guys, it's time for another section of the news, so let's just get right to it. Today, the possible synopsis for X-Men Apocalypse, next summer's big X-Men film from Fox Studios, has been revealed and it reads, X-Men Apocalypse will follow the mutants battling their most powerful foe yet, the devastatingly dangerous villain Apocalypse. This villain uses his incredible abilities to alter his physical form, access other mutant superpowers, and telekinesis to recruit a cult-like group called the Four Horsemen to be his servants and do his bidding in an all-out war against the X-Men. The cast and includes Magneto, Mystique, Gambit, Professor X, Wolverine, Mortimer McTaggart, Beast, Psylocke, Jean Grey, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, and Havoc. Now, to me this film seems really jam-packed with X-Men characters, but it could be potentially the best X film yet. I've been a fan of the newer direction that this franchise has gone, and I really love First Class. I think it's probably the best X-Men film, apart from like X-Men 2, possibly. And I think that Oscar Isaac is a great actor. Uh, he was fantastic in Ex Machina, and I think he'll be able to pull off a really sinister type of villain, you know, this cold, calculating, remorseless type of apocalypse villain, but also really smart, and I, I'm excited to see what the Four Horsemen are going to be like in the movie, too. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be Archangel, Wolverine, and um, a couple other characters, but yeah, moving on with uh, more Marvel-related news, we got a new casting call for Captain America Civil War, and in it are the directions for a funeral scene. Now, the shoot is set to take place tomorrow, and there'll be some stormy weather to add for more mood to that sequence, which a lot of people are already speculating that will be the funeral for Steve Rogers. Now, as many of you know, in the uh, Civil War comic book storyline and the Captain America uh, from 2006, I believe, that comic book, Steve Rogers was killed off in issue 25, which is the epilogue to Civil War. And a lot of people think that they'll do this in the movie, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it could definitely well happen, but uh, Chris Evans has stated that he's signed on for Infinity War, so I don't know if they're going to kill him off and then somehow bring him back for a movie, or if he'll just not die off in this movie and maybe he'll die in Infinity War at the hand of Thanos. Um, we don't know yet, but possibly it could also be, uh, this funeral could be a flashback to the funeral for Stark's parents, or possibly a funeral for the incident that occurs that causes the Civil War in the movie. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, rounding out the news for today are a couple of brand new images of the Batwing in Batman v Superman, courtesy of El Mayimbe's new website, Heroic Hollywood. These images show the vehicle in great quality and give us an indication as to the more comic book design that this vehicle has, which was really lacking in the Nolan Bat version of it. Overall, I just really love this design and I'm glad that this version of Batman will actually use more gadgets and vehicles more so than any other live action incarnation that we've seen so far. We got to see it briefly in action during the first teaser for Batman v Superman and it seems to have cannons and possibly a vertical takeoff landing mechanism. Anyways, that's all the news we have for today. Uh, sound off down below with your thoughts and I'll see you guys next time. Oh hey! I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. I don't know what exactly you just saw, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you really did like it, go check out our other stuff. You know, we have social media, Facebook, Twitter. The link should be somewhere here. Also, we have other channels too. We have our movie video game channel. We have our music channel. Obviously, our comic book channel too, because we know we do all that entertainment awesomeness. We also have a website. Go to our website, hypernetworkyt.com. And check out our other videos. Uh, that's all I really have to say. It's Josh, and you know I hope you guys enjoyed you know what you watched.